Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul for you. This is basically just some stuff that I picked up from Priceline and I think Target as well. I'm not too sure, I can't really remember. This is just some stuff that I've been buying over the past maybe week or so. And yeah, Priceline was just having some really, really good deals so I was definitely onto that. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about these for too long. Basically these are the Trilogy Rosehip Oil Oils. Yeah, um, they were half price at Priceline, so I was like, I'm definitely going to pick those up. So I picked up just the um, original rosehip oil. I bought the 45ml of that, and I think that came down to about maybe $18. And if you haven't seen already, this is what the bottle looks like. So they just come in like a little dropper where the oil comes out. It's really, really standard, really. But yeah, that's that one. Okay, now the one that I have tried is the Trilogy Rosehip Oil Antioxidant Plus. So this one's more for like the face and has a bit more of like a benefit for your skin. It has more than just rosehip oil, but yeah. To be honest, I didn't really notice much of a difference from this compared to just standard rosehip oil. But I am glad to have this one back as well. And this one only comes in 30ml. But again, it just comes in a little glass dropper guy like this. So it's like the mummy one and the daddy one. I mean, the mummy one and the baby one. What am I talking about? But yeah, um, I'm really excited to use this one on my body, actually, and this one more on my face. So really excited for those two. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up was two Bondi Sands products. I had to buy two to get 40% off, so I was like, okay, why not? Like, 40% off is a really, really good deal. So I picked up the Bondi Sands self-tanning foam in the shade Dark. There was the dark and the light, but I don't know. I just felt like picking up the dark one. I am wearing the dark tan today. And to be honest, I can't really see much of a difference between this and the San Tropez. So we'll have to see how this lasts. So far, I've only been wearing it for like two days, but I am quite liking it. Like the color is really, really nice. I have no idea why I was just randomly showing you my arm. That's really weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I also picked up the Bondi Sands everyday gradual tanning milk 24 hour moisture dual action formula cocoa butter scent so yeah i decided to pick up this one and i haven't smelt it there's a feather on it wait no it's not it's weird Ugh. 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 i haven't used this before Ugh. that was weird okay ow it got on my nose i don't know why i just said ow but <laughs> I don't mind that scent but yeah so I just wanted to pick up a gradual tanner just to not so much tan but just to emphasize my tan if that makes any sense at all hope it does um, I picked up a simple kind of skin I don't know why I keep calling it simple kind of skin it's not even called that it's called simple sensitive skin experts toner <laughs> yeah I just love this toner it's my go-to um, I've tried high-end ones, I've tried heaps of toners, and this is just the one that I keep going back to. I think this is like my fifth bottle, I'm not even kidding. Okay, I can't believe that I've gone through like majority of this video without putting on bronzer. I, when I was getting ready, I didn't put on bronzer because I really wanted to put one of these on on camera, just because I wanted to see how it was. I do have like a bit of a contour going on. Um, I just used the, the Balm Bahama Mama brown thing, and yeah, quite liking that at the moment, but... That's completely irrelevant. Um, yeah, I picked up two Physicians Formula bronzers. I picked these up at separate times because Physicians Formula is 40% off. That's great. Um, I know you can buy Physicians Formula on iHerb, but you can't buy this one on there. Like, it's not on there at all. And then this one, I'm not too sure why I picked this one up in store. I think because I had, like, a $5 off coupon if I spent $35, and then I bought the Bondi Sands as well. And I think that just made $5 off. I think that's what I did. Can't remember. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. My friend on Instagram said that this isn't very pigmented, so I want to try this first. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to use this one. But may as well tell you what they are, right? Um, this is the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster in light to medium. And it's a last and... Wait. <laughs> oh my god, I can't read. Instant and lasting bronze glow. Glow activator technology. <laughs> And it claims to be mistake-proof formula, stain-free, streak-free, orange-free, odor-free. And then this one is the Physicians Formula Happy Booster Glow 
and mood boosting powder skin perfecting glow mood boosting effects I don't know if you can see it without my lights blinding it but it's got little love hearts on it which I think is so cute hold on I'm just gonna zoom in hold on can you guys see that is that not just the cutest thing ever so yeah let's just give it a go oh okay so packaging is super cute like it's just like I don't know it's really simple but like cute like it just like flips and then there's a mirror and then it comes like a little brush guy oh okay my friend said that it wasn't pigmented but I'm getting quite a lot on my brush so that's pretty good I am gonna say I can't see anything out of this little mirror it is so small hold on I really like that it was like subtle but not subtle like it was really really I don't know how to describe it but it was really like I don't know I just like it well from first impressions I really like it I'm gonna try the other one on the other side <laughs> so the other one is the physicians formula bronze booster and I bought this one in light to medium as well this one the packaging is super luxurious like I don't know why but it reminds me of like Guerlain is that how you say Guerlain or Guerlain Guerlain um, oopsie. This one's cute. It has like a bronze booster embossed into it. I'm going to zoom in again. Hold on. Can you guys see that? That is so cute that they put that extra bit of effort into just putting that on there. I just adore that. So I'm just going to try this one on the other side of my face. Um, again, it just comes with like a little flip compartment, then a little brush. So I'm just going to use the same brush, about the same pigmentation. Actually, I think it's a little bit more pigmented to be honest. I'm not really too sure which one I like more at this point. This side, which is the Happy Booster, or this side, which is the Bronze Booster, but whatever. I like them both. They are quite nice. Like, they're nothing, like, terrible that I would never wear again. So I just picked up two more of these Foam Burst Foaming Shower Gels. I love these. They're on sale for $2, so I picked up another two. Um, yeah, I just adore these. They're so nice. And, yeah, they were on sale. Eh. Can you guys see how frizzy my hair is? That's hilarious. Please excuse that. <laughs> Whoops. These are two of the last things that I picked up from Priceline. Then I just have a few things that I picked up from Target. Um, I picked up two of the Bourjois, I think that's how you pronounce them. The Rouge Edition Velvet Lip Stain things. I'm not too sure how you would call them. But yeah, they're just basically like the same line as like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams or the Astralis Velour Lips. It's kind of one of those things. But Bourjois came out with their own line. So I picked up the shade number 7 and the shade number 5. Let me swatch these for you. So this is number 7. Which is that one there. And I just kind of picked two of the mo more wearable ones. And then this one is 05. So these were on sale for not even kidding like $10 each when normally these retail for $25 each um, if they're not on sale and you want these check ASOS because I'm pretty sure they'll do them cheaper I've worn these twice and so far I really 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 do like them they are so good they literally lasted like not even kidding like four hours with like more than four hours but like oh they're just so good like at least get one but I must say I don't like their color selection like these are probably the two most wearable that I found like there was a lot of reds and then there was like a bright fuchsia and then there was this one and a few other ones but there wasn't like I wish they brought out like a nude nude because like this one's like a dark neutral purpley color purple it kind of pulls a little bit purple especially compared to that pink one but I don't know I wish they just came out with like a more nude shade because the formula of these are amazing so if you find colors that you like of these definitely go pick some up because they are so good okay so I, I quickly picked up the Rimmel eyebrow pencil I was going out one day after work and I completely forgot to pack an eyebrow product um, so yeah I just picked this up I picked it up in the shade brown black I guess I'll swatch it for you as I'm swatching things on now that's the color of it there I really do enjoy it 
Um, it is a bit of a harder pencil, which I'm not really used to. But yeah, I've been really enjoying the colour. It's not red. Like, I hate red eyebrow products because my hair isn't red. My hair is like really, really dark brown. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but whatever. Yeah, really adoring this. And the staying power is quite nice as well. And then finally, I picked up two L'Oreal products because they were on sale for... 30% off at Target I think so I picked up another bronzer I think this is like the haul of the bronzers <laughs> anyway this is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze La Terra bronzer in the shade 02 and yeah it's huge like you get 18 grams of product in this it's like it's like a Costco size bronzer <laughs> um, but yeah let me just swatch it for you I guess I don't know if you can see that at all it's that shade down the bottom it's not super pigmented which I quite like I may as well just put this one on as well like it's not super pigmented but I don't think I want a super pigmented bronzer because like you don't want to go overboard you just want to kind of like enhance your current coloring a little bit I don't know but I'm really enjoying that so far I probably only used it like two or three times but so far, I'm really, really enjoying that. But in general, I do enjoy L'Oreal products. And then I also picked up a new thing from L'Oreal, which is their Nude Magique Blur Cream in light to medium. This is basically just like their, I don't know how you would call it, but it's just like a pore filling cream, I guess. And yeah, I've used this probably two times now quite enjoy it I'm gonna do a review I think on this so be on the lookout for that I didn't include a foundation so go me for not like buying a foundation because I always buy foundations it's so bad okay guys so that's the end of my haul video I hope you guys enjoyed definitely list some products down below that you've been loving from the drugstore at the moment because I'd love to check them out and yeah please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye